general away game this season. It's always an occasion for us. Every year we always uh, enjoy our last away day. And um, yeah, we got a good crowd, we got a good bus. And, um, let them have their moment. As much as they matter. Bunch of fucking pod life, a lot of them, like, you know. <laughs> right, anyway. Yeah, I mean, looking back on the season in whole, it's been, a, it's been a good season, really, if you think about it. We had a great start, I know. I guess you could say we've overperformed at that point. And then uh, moving into the, to the end of the season, it, it hasn't been a, the, the best of starts of the year 2014. But, you know, I mean, we can look back and think, well, we stayed in the division. That was, that was the important bit, was actually staying in the division. Bad first year back. Now, we've got a platform to build on for next year, you know. And um, we got a great new sponsor. We might have more funds to spend on players, you know. So you know, we got a lot on the bus. Benson's on the bus. Yeah, that's a good addition to this as well. So herbal life, yes, I can sell herbal life. Thanks for pointing that one out. Anyway, we got some fat fuckers on the bus. We got some fat fuckers on the bus. Yeah, so I am going to make some sales today, hopefully. Um, I'm going to. A season win, yeah, yeah, we get to work. And I can get the players involved in that. I can get uh, Danny Crow and Rennie Hayo involved in Herbal Life if Flinny even already right. done it. So, uh, yeah. Well, like I say, the last away day of the season, and we're going to have a bloody good one, right? So, if you're up there, I'll see you up there. If you're not, well, you're, you're always going to miss out on a good one. Anyway, cheers. face full of nuts as always. All right, okay. That was a, a good effort by Rob. Fair play. Anyway, um, back to you, Rob. We've got too many Robs. Uh, long trip up. What do you reckon the game's going to be like? You know, it's the last game of the season. The brilliant season, of course. But I think we get three points in the game. Yeah, do you reckon? Yeah. Sweet man. As and Jolly to score. As and Jolly, yeah. Sporting the kits and they've sported some goals up in York. Happy days then. And the, um, um. I think we need two one. Two one. Once again, a leap leap, you know. Yeah, and send send us into ruptures then. Last away game of the season is always a good atmosphere. Do you often come on the last one? I've been to every last away game. So. It's always a good crack, anyway. Yeah. We'll work it then. Right then, I'm going to move it along to another pair of gingers. <laughs> Obviously, that's the one pair of gingers there. Eh? <laughs> And we have another pair of gingers. <laughs> no gingers are <laughs> There we go. If you're ginger, that's his face. Take a mental picture of it. Back to you guys. What do you reckon of the day? Good trip so far? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to be honest. <laughs> So, um, I do we'll have a nice win to top it off. Yeah. A nice win. Oh, that, yeah. end of the day, with news or draw, we always have a good trip, but it always makes it that bit yeah. sweeter, doesn't it, again, in that win. So, um, what do you reckon? Um, a prediction of the score, like, today? Uh, We're going to go for 2-1. 2-1 seems to be a favourite so far, now. Brilliant. And um, a late as a goal is the one. I'm thinking a 2-1 myself, to be honest with you, with an as a goal somewhere along, line, along the line there. Do you think you might get a start today? No, I think you'll come off the bench so in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a plan. Get up a serve for the ball. Come on. I got first to lose for the first one. 1-0, Yeah, win it by a goal. Similar scoreline. Who's going to score the winner then? Oh yeah, Lenny Pitcher, he bangs him in all the time, he does. Oh, well there you go, Ed. That's actually good for a girl. Sorry? Oh, Connor. Oh, Connor. There we go. Oh, Connor's 
the fee with the day together winner for us. A pat on the back. There you go. A pat on the back. Same goes to you, big lads. Hamish. Excellent. Scratchy's here. Scratchy's here. Any words for a scratch? Strong words from a big man, fat man. One nil, Aaron O'Connor. That's out of a cut there. That's out of a cut, that is. Sorry, I, I, you were talking then. I was, I was, I was eyeing up your cut then, I was. Ah, a lot of optimism from the KD faithful today then. Let's bring it over here. Peter K. What do you reckon? a team looking for a playoff place. Well, if you look at what we did on, on Monday, we dominated that game. Yeah. Apart from a bad penalty decision, we would have won that comfortably. So, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. Confidence will be up. Confidence will be high. Yeah. So they could go and do something. Well, we can live in Old County, Michael. Yeah. Joey Essex. Hello, son. Yes. What's going down? Alright, what do you reckon? 2 1 Kenji. 2 1 is. Fucking Minsterman is promotion out. Yeah, fucking right up in there. Darcy Blake and Lee Minshew. Oh, Darcy Blake, is, that, is Darcy Blake going to be the first goal scorer? I wonder what odds you can get on him. 25 to 1. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop filming and I'm going to go and have a look. So, cheers for that. I'm not really going to have a look, he's talking fucking bollocks, I think. Thank anyway. you for all your way fans that have followed us this season. Thank you. Alright, I, I, I don't know what benefit it's been to you personally, but um, anyway, yeah, I said I don't know what benefit it's been to you personally, but um, yeah, uh, that, that's, that's a, good, a, a good thank you to give out. So, nice swim. Thank you uh, to everyone yeah. that's come to every away game this season. Thank you. So a 2-1 seems to be the favourite scoreline for today. I'll, I'll basically pick this up inside the stadium and see what the feeling is in there. Oh, Des Cladding. I need the, a um, shit. Oh, yeah. I'd imagine Les Scadding needs a shit quite often as well. So, um, yeah. So the fake Les Scadding, Des Cladding, is there going for the shit. Anyway. Talking about shit. York City. <laughs> no, no, they're doing well, fair play to them. Isn't they? They're doing well. Yeah. So. The defence may be doing well at a tight moment, but like, as I said on Thursday, him and Joel just won, man. At the very least, we'll be open for a good game of football, won't we? A good game of football. A good game of football where we are competing in, basically. You know? Cheers very much to that, everybody who's contributed to this one, and we'll see you inside the stadium. So we've had a good trip to be honest with you, you know, we've been enjoying ourselves, the banter's been great, you know, you know we've had a good drink, the music's been good on the bus and all that, um, everybody's been a good sport, so, you know, you can't really complain, you know. Um, I think they could have gone down to 10 men, there was a two-footed challenge on one of our players, I didn't see it myself, but then the people oh, me said they said it. You got the wrong shots on your wanker! And apparently Pope the goalie was... Wrong shot! 
He had the wrong shorts on, according to um, Sally Junior there. But, uh, no, I, I mean, their goal came, up a, came from a soft free kick. We could have been a, a man up because, um, you know, of a, a supposed two foot challenge. But it's just the way these things go. What's disappointing is that these things tend to go against us more often than anybody else. So, hopefully, next season, that'll change. I hope so, anyway. See if I can alive to keep all team. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, so um, we'll have a look and see what everybody else thinks today. And it's vlog time. How's it going? Awesome. Tell me what you thought of the day. Well, it was all right. Oh, I could say. That there is Matthew Sullivan. For anyone who doesn't know, that is Matthew Sullivan. Hello, bro. How do you feel today's being wet? So, yeah, we should have won. Fucking trying to put your finger in me, it's gay. Oh, dead! It's dead! Fucking dead! That's gross as fuck out of this place. So, right. for the first time, we're interrupting Task Blog. It's not Task Blog, it's the County Choir Blog. Yeah. Yeah. Now, his name's Matthew. My name's Matthew, that's Robert. And it's the Mo, we're in the choir. So, how do you feel today's event? Mo, don't you get a Mo, don't you how do you feel today's like, game went? Like, no, like, um, well, it went all right. We should have won, we had some good chances, especially in the second half. Definitely should have won it. Only one yeah. now, which we got away with. Their pitch invasion was pretty shit. Yeah. Fucking Jamie and Steve. And you know, we took 200, so it was a good day for that. Uh, that's the way to end the season. Got well, well done, folks. I'm going to be fair, a lot of people have a lot of things to say about you. You're here with shit, and your ginger. Respect the fact you saved your head. Every feeling when you do it. Um, really good. I'm glad I never bottled it. I, uh, oh, it was a bit chilly the first time. Probably one of the first two. But then it's grown on me. It's busy nice. I'm enjoying it at the moment. And, uh, it's really nice to Getting back to football. Obviously, this day was a big meeting. How do you feel about the next season? Especially the way you won. Your opinion. Right. The young kid, I don't have a problem with. But the away kit, it's too much. I can do fucking place down the road, to be fair. Cardiff. Fucking scum dip I just swore I was sorry as fuck. Fucking Cardiff. Oh, it's not the scum dip, what else? I don't mean to interrupt the mood. What about you? What's your name? What's your Kid. I'm pretty sure that looks more awesome. than Rexham kid. Yeah. The cards are so surely. So you're going to see that. More than anything. We are seeing you as a glory fan. Because it seems to me as if you're a glory fan. I'm not a glory fan. So why is what it's going to be? It looks a lot more Rexham's kid than Carlos' kid. Through this, it does. So I'm pretty sure you won a final. I'm pretty sure you won the final. This is great. I'm going to say a thing. What's the rest? I was with you. What? Well, I was with you. So why? I was stood right there. If he was with us then, so if he was with us, why is it more Cardiff's kid than Wrexham? Cardiff is red and white, so Cardiff's then, and now we're doing it, obviously. I've said all that, see, this is the end of County Coyers, bro. We're going back to Chris Tapp, bro. Thank you, Matt Sullivan. Thank God for that. Bowski, thank you very much. You're welcome. He's up. And as you can see, everyone is having a great time here on the bus. There's our host. Our host of the bus. Dev's tits are out. He's trying to abuse young Candy. I think we might catch some of this. Candy's getting abused. You're Julia. The hell is that on the end of his bottle? <laughs> oh, he's trying to get bored at night. Look at Will, the Will. There's little Willie Ingalls. You fucking love looking at Dev half naked, Dev. What do you think of Dev's body? Relax, we can 
you ready, Church? I'm so enjoying it. Oh, that's for your turn. Anything to sign out now, then, Bo? Sign up. Sign out, son. Sign out. I've been Bo Lyons, and you've been watching the County Choir vlogs. Thank you very much, and good night. See you next away game next season. Have a good day. Quality. And I'll have a beat there. See you all next season on the away trips. I will do a vlog for the home game. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a good vlog. I'll do a vlog for Rochdale, yes. Vlog for Rochdale, guys. And as, as the same with me. Catch you later, guys. It was quite an, uh, an enjoyable trip yesterday. Um, obviously, we always have a good crack on the bus, so uh, you know I enjoyed that. I um, thought that we played a good game of football. Um, obviously, York contributed to that as well. Um, we were unlucky to lose the game after, and I felt we had enough chances to at least score a goal or two. But for me, on a footballing level, um, we certainly have given ourselves a good platform for next season. If we are going to improve that squad and improve the, our all rain game, then um, I certainly think that we can go one better this uh, next season and maybe look at a promotion push. Um, we've shown we've got what it takes to compete in this division, and if not for um, the problematic um, period that we had where our uh, games were getting disel uh, getting um, called off because of the rain, obviously we did have the worst rain rainfall in... 250 years um, so there's not a lot really we could have done about it or anything really we, well there were things we could have done to prevent it but then it's not as if we were going to foresee that so uh, to, because of that obviously it's kind of ruined our season and I would push for a playoff place but personally I don't think we would have had the tools to go up to League 1 this year so I'm quite happy that we're going to be held back um, obviously, if we get we can get promotion, <clears throat> you never know <clears throat> until you get there whether you're going to be good enough or bad enough. But I think you know just this season of stability, and maybe look for it next season. <clears throat> you know you can't. You know we we can't look to to run before we look before we've learned to walk. So yeah, but I say all round. I mean we got our last home game of the season now against Rochdale, which um, you know will be a good day. You know, last last games of the season were always good. Like the last away trip of the season we had yesterday, that was a good trip. Everyone enjoyed it. I was a bit disappointed with the numbers, to be honest with you. Though I would have thought more people would have made the effort for the last one, about two hundred and twenty, which is a decent following. You know, for 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 us, if if you see how many people we get over the last few years, but then um, for our average, our average is about four to five hundred. I was hoping for us to get that at least, but. You know, people can make all the trips. I've made 17 this year, but then I would have done all of them if I could have. So, um, either way, it was still a good day. Um, the York fans, I was really, really impressed with. I thought they were nice people. Um, they obviously applauded us for our efforts and applauded our players. So, um, yeah, I think they fully deserve their place in the playoffs. And they're the team I will be rooting for in the playoffs 
it, it, it doesn't really mean anything. You know, it doesn't matter to me who goes up and who goes down. Who goes down at this division? But um, you know, I'll certainly be rooting for York in the playoffs. And I kind of hope Wickham stay up. I'd rather see Northampton rather than Bristol Rovers. <clears throat> Bristol Rovers, I don't want to go down because of the payday that we get, and <clears throat> I don't, and I don't want Wickham to go down because I thought their people were nice when we went there, and we managed to get six points against them this year. And Northampton are a bogey team. Usually, I wouldn't care, but bogey teams can go down. Um, disappointing talk here gone down. Um, would have been nice to know to have another day out there, but well, we've got plenty of days out next next season anyway. So we've got the Capital One Cup to look forward to as well. So you know, I'm not overly disappointed in total. Um, Ireford stayed up. Uh, Peter Beadle in charge there, and it, it looks so like he's going to get a full time job there. So um, you know, congratulations to him as well, and Hereford. Um, unfortunately, Chester went down, and I had a bit of respect for Chester. I'm not. I'm not particularly the biggest lover of Wrexham, and I know that they're in the same boat there. So, um, you know, obviously, I kind of hope that they were going to stay up, but then I'm so happy for Peter Beadle and the rest. So, um, I will do a blog for Rochdale, so keep an eye open for it. Until the next time, cheerio. Have a good day.